Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to determine the magnitude and the direction of resultant vector using parallelogram law. So uh, the question is, um, the screw I is subjected to two forces F1 and F2 determine the magnitude and the direction of the resultant force. So as we can see here in this figure, this screw I is subjected to F1 which is 100 Newton, F2 is um, 150 Newton. Um, the angle between the horizontal um, x-axis and F1 is 15 degree and the angle between F2 and the vertical y-axis is 10 degree. The question is determine the magnitude and the direction of the resultant force. When we say resultant meaning that uh, we have two forces F1 and F2. If we want to represent the two forces using a single resultant force, we can use um, one resultant force with one direction angle theta to represent the two forces. So we can use parallelogram rule to do th this problem. Using parallelogram law, we can determine the direction and magnitude of resultant vector so the first step is to connect uh, the two forces f1 and f2 tail to tail so once after the two forces are joined at a point here for instance if this is the point so we can construct a parallelogram for the two forces as we can see here this is the parallelogram shape F or E the resultant uh, vector of the two forces. So the angle between F1 and the resultant force F or is theta. So uh, another important uh, parameter here is um, alpha. Alpha is the angle between F1 and F2. Alpha can be calculated as 90 degree minus um, 15 plus 10 degree so alpha is 65 degree this angle and this angle are equal so this angle is beta beta can be calculated as 360 degree minus 2 times 65 divided by 2 I'm using this formula is simple because this uh, parallelogram its internal angles should be three the summation of the internal angle should be 360 so from 360 minus those two angles the, the summation of the two the uh, or the summation of this and this which means 2 times 65 divided by 2 to determine this single um, beta so this will be 115 degree by using laws of cosines we can determine this uh, resultant uh, vector from this triangle. This is, as you can see, this is a triangle here. I can determine um, I can determine the resultant force FR. So let me make this pencil. fr is equal to square root of f1 square plus f2 square minus 2 times f1 times f2 times cos beta already i have calculated cos beta which is 115 degree and i know f1 and f2 so i was treating the values i can determine that f is equal to the resultant vector is 212.6 newton this is how to determine the magnitude of the resultant. So, instead of using the two forces, one can use a single resultant vector, which is 2, 1, 2.6 Newton. Next is how to determine the direction. I already calculated the magnitude because I was asked to calculate the direction and vector should also have um, direction in addition to the magnitude. So I have to calculate the angle theta of the resultant force to do so 
uh, I have to use the the triangle first I have to draw the triangle here separately so this is uh, theta the angle between F1 and the resultant force and the angle between the horizontal axis um, to the resultant is phi and this is the direction of the resultant vector that was asked to be calculated so this by the way this kind of formulation can be also uh, known as um, a polar form so you think trigonometry law of science i can determine if i know the resultant force if i know f2 and if i know this angle beta as i have tried to calculate previously beta is equal to 115 degree so using law of science um, 115 newton divided by sine theta means that f2 divided by sine theta is equal to 212.6 newton divided by sine 115 meaning that fr divided by sine beta so sine theta is equal to 115 newton rearranging this sine theta is equal to 115 newton divided by 212.6 newton times um, sine 115 or 0 0.9063 so theta is equal to 39.8 degree the question is to determine the angle phi which is the distance from the horizontal x up to the resultant vector force fr so this can be calculated as the summation of 15 degree plus theta i have already calculated theta as 39.8 degree now phi will be theta plus 15 degree which is equal to 54.8 degree this is the direction of the resultant so the resultant sorry the resultant vector can be the resultant vector can be represented like this this is 200 1 2 Point six Newton and this is the horizontal X so this angle is from the horizontal 54 point eight degree this is known as polar form so this is the final answer thank you for watching